वी लुकअप और एच लुकअप कैन आइदर लुक वर्टिकली और हॉरिजोंटली बट दे कैनॉट लुक बोथ एट द सेम टाइम सो नाउ आई है यूनिक सीनारियो वेर आई वॉन्ट टू लुक वैल्यूज इन द मैट्रिक्स ओके सो आई वुड बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग हाउ यूजिंग एस एक्स लुकअप यू कैन लुक इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन एट द सेम टाइम सो आई विल शो दैट हाउ एक्स लुकअप कैन एक्ट एज अ वी लुकअप एंड एच लुकअप एट द सेम टाइम Go to my screen. Okay, so I have two types of data. It is a rate card and transactions. Okay, now let me tell you what exactly this. So I have data of steel TMT bar. So these are various thicknesses, and this is the cost including delivery. So that to various cities. So that's why even price fluctuates because again transportation and logistic cost changes from city to city. Okay, now. I want a look up something like this. So let's say here I say size, okay, and I say city. So let's say I want rate for size. Let's say eight mm, and for city Nagpur. Okay. Now generally, how we will set up V look up? So let's say using X look up a normal. x lookup would be like this so search for 8 here comma and return value from this column okay this will behave like a v lookup okay this will behave like a v lookup but here i cannot dynamically change the city okay because i have manually selected this column column number d similarly if i have to find In the reverse way, okay. Horizontally, I would be doing like this: is equal to x lookup find Nagpur here, okay, comma and return now since it is at mm, I am hard coding this range. Now let us tweak this formula or function and make it adaptable to search in both direction, okay. So I'll delete this, and let us modify this. Okay, here I selected very specifically D column because I want it for Nagpur. But let's say I want to make it dynamic. Now I will delete this, and instead of selecting single column, if I select something like this, all the values, okay, for all the cities, and press enter, you will get multiple values because so this is the rate. For various cities of 8 mm, see, you can notice the same range. It gets in output 402, 406. Let's say I change this to 20. So you can see like this. Okay. Now let's say if I do same thing with horizontal means vertical thing. Okay. So is equal to x lookup. Let's say search for this city. Okay. Here, here, and now instead of specifically selecting like only twenty, I select like this. Okay. I select complete this range. So you get rate for various sizes. For this city specifically, Nagpur. Like currently, it is for Nagpur. Okay, let's say I change it to Hubli. H O G H L Y. These are rates for Hubli. Okay, so you can see an X lookup can function as V lookup or H lookup. Okay, based on how we are selecting data. Okay, now let me. Uh, Make you aware of one more technique. Now, instead of doing like this, okay, this was fine, size was fine, this X lookup was fine, but now let's say instead of setting this X lookup like this, okay, if I say this is equal to X lookup, search for this Hubli city, okay, here, okay. Here and 
correspondingly take value from here okay just notice moment i extend selection okay to all this h6 to k6 i moment i extend it now it becomes h6 hash that means this range it is a dynamic range close this okay so now this is a value of ugly for 20 mm okay value of ugly okay for 20 mm 2467 because x lookup doesn't care that where exactly means like v lookup x lookup doesn't expect that if you are selecting range lookup range like this then value should be also adjusted to somewhere you can search for a value here and return value from all together different range okay totally different so they don't have to be adjacent okay so this way it is dynamically looking let me show you let's say i change the size to 12 okay. so 12 mm ugly 12 mm ugly triple eight okay now let us merge this so inside this x lookup okay for let us merge this in river way instead of h6 hash if i take this complete formula here excluding equal to if i copy this and erase this and paste it here okay now this is the dynamic one so if i change let's say madurara madurara and 28 okay so this is a matrix lookup formula so now let's formulate this here in this transaction sheet so i'll say rate so first let us set up a v lookup type thing so search for this size or maybe let me tell you one, one more technique you can also copy paste like this but only thing is that sheet name is not there okay worksheet name is not there so i will have to rate cut so let us freshly formulate it just as a revision okay is equal to x lookup search for this size okay look up for this size here okay and fetch me values from here tell us from here and let's say second formula is equal to x lookup search for this city okay look for this city here and don't fetch value from here okay fetch from this selection okay d2 hash and now let us merge this so i will merge this inside this paste and i can now remove this and let us even edit this copy paste this complete x lookup and paste it here okay one more thing now you will have to do you will have to actually freeze because otherwise this range would get extended okay so let us freeze this so i want to freeze all the ranges so it should be not b1 to f1 like this it should freeze for all the ranges should freeze okay now i can copy paste this if i copy paste okay it's perfectly working so let me double click and extend it lastly friends please do try this and if you don't have office 365 version you can also sign up for a free version of office 365 of excel which is available purely online it is a uh, browser based version so if you like this technique please do like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel